Next thing on our list here of looking at the music business from a musician standpoint, sound guys. If you are a sound guy who is telling a band that has their own in-ear monitor rig that you're not gonna use, let them use their in-ear monitors, how did you even get to my planet? I mean, really, come on, dude. You're gonna really tell me that you would rather mix their monitors than let them mix their monitors and let them, you know, fight over who's too loud on stage and why the guitar player's patches are a different volume, you know, each different section of the songs that they're playing and stuff. Man, put that nightmare on their plate. You know, let them deal with that. A lot of these bands that I work with have spent thousands upon thousands of dollars putting together an all-inclusive in-ear monitor setup. They have their own mixer. They have a quality split snake. They're even using their own vocal mics and drum mics. You may have to provide all the XLR cabling for that stuff, but they're you know, providing their own DIs, you know, all that stuff so that their ear mix sounds the same at every single show. Honor that commitment, man. Don't give them a hard time. Honor that commitment and allow those guys to do what they do so that their mix is the same as it was at the last show. That's the whole point of why they even do that. Don't get in the way of that, man. Let those guys let those guys be who they are and you just focus on front of house. You know, get their split snake tail and make it happen.